Welcome to day 10 of the Mindful Movement series. Today, we are going to be going through a speed, agility, and quickness training session paired with a nice, juicy core session. Before we get started with our training session, we'll go through a quick mobility movement, then we'll go through the demos, we'll dive in, and then we'll do a mini stretch afterwards to cool off. This one will get the heart rate going. I'm Isabel Wellman, personal trainer and yoga teacher. All you'll need for today, prop wise, is a yoga mat or a stable surface, and make sure you have water close by. Today, we'll start on the ground for our mobility session. So let's start by reaching the chin down and rolling your shoulder in the front, back through the front of the body to the opposite shoulder. So only reaching ear to shoulder in the front of the body, not the back. And do one more pass each way. Come back to the middle once you're done. Lift the chin up, let the chin drop back. And same motion, but through the back body. Relax the shoulders down. And once you are back in the middle, lift the head up. Excellent. We're going to go onto a tabletop position. We're going to tuck the toes, put the hands right under the shoulders or a little bit in front, and we're going to rock back and forth to open up and warm up the wrists and the ankles, as well as the shoulders. Do this about five to eight times. And then stay forward. Stretch the front of the wrists, and then come back onto the heels, press into the toes, and now turn the fingers backwards towards the body. Be gentle, we're warming up, press through the fingers. You can alternate lifting up the palm of the hand for a deeper stretch. And then flip the hand over to the back of the hand. Slowly peel the back of the hand off of the mat. And flip the wrists up and down or the hands up and down. You can make a fist and then rotate them in a circle. Go the other way. And then you can stay on the toes or untuck the toes and come into a top of the foot stretch. You can lift one foot at a time to get the top of the ankle. You can switch whenever you're ready. Keep the toes and the back pointed straight. If they're crossed over, uncross them. Just do that one more time on each side if you are here. Or continue to sit up on the back of the heels if you're in the first position. Now we're going to come onto our butts. And we're going to let the knees sway left and right. This is for the hips, the core, ankles. <clears throat> and one more pass. Then bring the knees up. Let the fingers go behind the body. Fingers closer to the butt or the back. And bend the elbows backwards as you draw them in towards one another, as you lean back. And you can press forward, come up, and then lean back again. Do this active shoulder stretch. Excellent. Then we're going to lift up the outside leg, or the right leg. We're just going to lift it up two times outwards and then bring it back in 
and then do that with the other leg. These are those hip lifts we did in our mobility session the first week. I believe it was the first week. If not, it was this past week. And one more on each side. Flex the toes back as you do this. Good. Now I'm going to lean back and I'm going to drive my knee up. Open it to the outside and close it. So I'm just opening and closing the hip in that same shoulder position I was just a moment ago. Then reach that leg out and do that with the opposite leg. Do it the same number of times you did on the first side. Good. And now that we've gotten a short mobility session in, we are going to go into the core circuit. So we have done this core circuit before, so a repeat is never a bad thing. The muscles have had different core circuit movements in between this one. So we will be returning back to Russian twists, leg lifts with hip reach, plank dips, and eagle crunches. So the Russian twist again, we'll do a quick demo for each of them. We'll keep our legs up, we're going to rotate to one side, back to the middle, and the other. The leg lifts with hip reach. We'll lay on our backs. You can put your hands underneath your bum. Roll the shoulders back. Legs out in front of you. Inhale and lift up. And then lower them down. Our next one will be, we'll do eagle crunches and then plank dips. So the eagle crunches, so we stay on our back. We cross the legs. We cross the arms, and we go to the middle, the right, and the left. And then our plank dips, we roll over. If you have shoes on, you can fully roll your feet over to the outside edge of the foot. But if you don't, move on to your forearms, and just dip as far as you feel comfortable with your feet. Alright, for all these exercises we will be 30 seconds on for each of them, back to back to back to back, and then we'll start. We'll start with Russian twists in 3, 2, and 1. You can make this more challenging by having a weight. Almost there. And we will now go into the leg lift with the hip reach for 30 seconds. You can start at the bottom <laughs> of the leg reach. For some reason, it's easier for me to have my legs up to start. Whichever one works. And done. Now we'll go into eagle crunches. So across the leg, across the arms, middle, left, right, middle, left, right. And now we will go into plank dips. Almost there. Two. And one. Good work. 
We will rest for 45 seconds. Be ever so generous today with 45 seconds. <sighs> Since this is a repeat core exercise, does it feel any easier? Is it intense? Are you really feeling the soreness in your muscles? Let me know what you're feeling with this. It is our first repeat, which is pretty exciting. I always find those to be the best indicators of growth. See where we're at. And we'll get started with Russian twists again in three, two, and one. And you can start. Halfway there. I like to pause in the middle so I know I'm using the muscles and not cranking the spine. And we'll go down for the leg reaches. And we're just starting as fast as we can when we move from one exercise to the next. Remember to take a break whenever you need, but make it short and quick and get right back to it. And we'll come into the eagle crunches. Try to cross the arm and legs in a different, in the opposite way. And now we'll go back to plank dips. In three, two, and one. And go down. Lovely. We have 45 seconds of rest before we start all over again. Last round, last core exercise round. There will be a few more in the circuit, but they're fun. They're exciting. Deep breaths into the body. Start to feel yourself working up the heat rejuvenating the energy within you, waking up all the muscles. We'll get ready for our last round, Russian twists, in three, two, and one. We got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Leg lift reach. Whatever you do, keep on moving. Quick stop and get started again. Almost there. We got two more after this. All right, ego crunches. I think this one is the toughest for me. <laughs> I'd love to hear which one is your toughest. Oh God, I missed the middle to start off with. Whew, middle, left, right. Said the opposite there. Four, three, two, and one. 
to the plank dips. Roll over, get in position as fast as you can, and start going. circuit we'll be going through eight different exercises. The eight exercises we'll be doing tonight are reverse marching planks, camel hinges active, crab toe touch, plank up downs, lunge to knee drive, skater jumps, alternating lunges, and kneeling to squat. Now let's go through all of those. Reverse marching planks start on our bum but actually on the back of the heels and the hands. So we'll go up, roll the shoulders back, press down through the fingers and the thumb, have a slight micro bend in the elbow. Lift, push through the heels and lift the hips up. And we'll be bringing the knee into the chest. Be very gentle when you are letting your foot go back down and make sure you're ready to engage your leg. Just so you're not hyper extending the knee or the elbows. We'll then go into camel hinges. So you might want a blanket for this movement. Yesterday we did active camel hinge holding, or passive, we held the movement. Today we're going to be reaching the arms out, roll the shoulders back, leaning as far back as we can, and then coming up. Leaning as far back as we can, then coming up, while keeping the glutes clenched, abs tight, and shoulders back. We'll then go into a crab toe touch. These are really fun. We'll bring you right back to childhood. So we're going to go up with our knees bent, butt down, and we're going to lift up a toe <coughs> in our arm and alternate this touch. So we're just tapping the toe and switching. Very fun movement. This will also be a repeat exercise, being the plank up down. So we'll come onto our hands, reach out into a high plank, Go down on one forearm, the other, press up, and then switch sides. Now we'll do a lunge to a knee drive. So we will lunge backwards, front knee over ankle, and then drive the back knee up. Make sure you reach far back enough that your ankles are over the knees, hip is over the back knee. And then drive up. And we will alternate that movement. We'll then go into skater jumps. I hope I don't hit my tree behind me. But we'll start on one foot. We're going to jump to the opposite foot and land balanced. So start small so that you know you're going to balance. And then you can get bigger if you're feeling like a challenge. I like to swing the arm on the outside towards the direction I'm jumping for extra momentum. And then this Next exercise will be alternating lunges. So we'll simply start in a lunge position and we're going to jump to one side and then the next. Lastly, we'll do kneeling to squat. So you might want a blanket for this. We will start kneeling. You'll want the thick part to be closer to the knees so that you can squat because it will look like being in a kneeling position and jumping into a squat. Going back down and then jumping into a squat. Alright, we're going to start with a reverse marching plank in three, two, and one. So press out of the hands and the heels and drive that knee up towards the chest while you press the hips upwards. We'll do this circuit three times. See if you can quietly set down the heels and we'll go down. We will rest for 15 seconds and then we'll jump into the next exercise 
These will be the camel hinges. And we will start in three, two, one, arms up, press down through the toes, lean back, and come back up. Go as far back as you are able. You'll feel this in the front of the leg. Continue to breathe as you move through these. Try to get one more in. In. Excellent. Even if it was a shorty. 10 seconds and we will start the crab toe touch. We'll start in three, two, and one. So alternating the touch, lifting up one hand and the opposite foot. And done. Beautiful work. We'll go into lunge, knee drive in three, two, and one. So lunge back, drive that knee forward. And we'll just do this on one side, and then we'll switch. Good job. And switch sides. Ah, laptop went black on me. <coughs> Press down through all the toes. And when you come to stand, press out of the front heel. And done. We'll take a 30 second rest just because we went one minute straight. The next movement we will go into will be skater hops or skater jumps. This is pers personally my favorite movement. So we will be jumping off of the outside foot in four, three, two, and one. It can help if you look down towards the spot, you will be landing. The lower you land, the tougher woo, it is to keep your balance. 10 more seconds. Woo, good job. 15 seconds, and we'll go into the alternating jump lunge. Get ready in three, two, and one. And we are alternating these jumps, so just 30 seconds. Go as slow as you need to stay balanced and strong. <laughs> A 
two, and one. Woo! And then this one, kneeling the squat. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. We'll get started in four, three, two, and one. So kneeling, jumping to the feet, and then going down. Good work. Almost done with this round. We'll take a one whole minute break. And round complete. Good job. One whole minute. Take a drink of water. Starting to feel the sweat come out. Heart is beating. Feeling good. What I hope this series can show you is that you don't need to do much to show up for yourself, for your body, and how you want to grow, how you want to move, how you want to unlock your own abilities. Because once upon a time, we're all primal, surviving on our own. And these movements, some of them are fun. We wouldn't do them in the back in the day, but they're primal. We'll get ready for those reverse marching planks in three, two, and one. And so what I'm trying to get at is that we get to be able to do a kneeling position to a squat for whatever reason without throwing our back out or going through knee pain. Three, two, and one, lower. Good work, camel hinges are next. We get to be prepared for what life has to offer us. Three, two, one, shoulders back, squeeze the glutes, lower, and come up. Keep the spine as straight as a rod. I'm starting to feel it by my IT bands on the side of the leg. And last one. Gorgeous. Get ready for the crab toe touches. And a perk of being able to move however you want, you have freedom. We'll go up for those touches in three, two, one. Freedom to move, freedom to play. You feel more confident to move in the world, to take up space. God forbid you take up space in your own home or you express your true and honest emotions with your loved ones and being seen, heard, and safe when you do so, and we'll lower. Plank up down is next. And we'll go up in five, four, three, two, and one. We are in the second round. So this might be the most challenging just because it's not the last one. <laughs> we still have to do these movements. We get to do these movements one more time. We are halfway there. And done. <laughs> Lunge to knee drive next. Remember one, one minute straight for this bad boy. Top of the mat, two, and one, reverse. Drive that knee. It's okay if your knee doesn't completely touch the ground. <coughs> and 
and we'll switch after the, the one you have. So go on the opposite side, 30 more seconds. seconds. Try to get one more in and done. 30 second break and then skaters. Best exercise in the whole lineup. <laughs> what one is your favorite? I'd love to hear. Please. It's so fun to communicate and share and talk and throw ideas around and I would hope not everyone agrees with what I say because that would be boring. We'll go in three, two, and one, jumping off of the outside foot. The lower you go, the more challenging it can be or the easier. <laughs> Maybe you start high and get low and then slowly get high again. to get one more and done. Two more exercises of this round. Alternating jump lunge in five, four, three, two, and one. Your legs may be feeling it now. This is the funnest one, second funnest, just because it's a real challenge. We'll start now, kneel to squat, really extend your hips at the top by squeezing the glutes. Try to get one more in. Come on. And one minute break. One more round after this. Get a drink. <clears throat> Repeat after me. I'm getting better and better every day. I am strong. I am able, I am a go-getter, I'm on a mission to serve myself and others, and I know I have a huge purpose in this lifetime, and that's why I'm here. And we're going to get started in 10 seconds with the reverse marching planks. We'll go up in three, two, one. Last round is a go. Come on. You got this. You're already sweating. Your heart's going. This is the last round. Or maybe you are a daredevil and you decide to do one more after this. And we can go down. I think that was 30 seconds. Our next exercise will be camel hinges. In three, two, and one. I feel like maybe I cut, I reverse plank short <laughs> by 15 seconds. Just get too excited talking to you guys. Yeah, I totally did. <laughs> That's okay.
three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Crab toe touches next in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. What side are you feeling stronger on? Do you notice your ability to use your breath to control your heart rate? Are you thinking nourishing thoughts? Like, I got this, we're almost done, last round, I feel so good. Or destructive thoughts, and we'll go down. Good job. Plank up, down, are next. In 10 seconds. Like, I can't do this. It's so hard. I'm so tired. And we'll start. Of course, there's never truly or a right or a wrong way to do something. But there is a more efficient way, a better feeling way. And a way that is more resistant, a way that makes us not feel so good. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Lunge to knee drive. One minute straight here. And that's why I said nourishing versus positive and destructive versus negative. Get ready in two and one. One leg, drive, back, drive. Because there is a fine line between knowing. We'll switch now. If you are degrading yourself or being honest and maybe when you say I'm tired yes that can be very honest but if it's saying it with this other feeling deeper why am I tired well I feel like I'm not strong enough or I feel like I can't complete this or I'm not good enough Beautiful, one minute rest. Well, that's gonna make us feel bad and like we can't keep going. Or the next time we aren't able to keep going or go further or achieve. So, your words are spells. They really create the reality inside you and outside of you. How you talk to yourself, well, you probably talk about others to others in the same way. All right, skater jumps in four, three, two, and one. Halfway there. We got two more exercises after this. And done. Ooh, ooh. Alternating jump lunges. And five, four, three, two, and one. Pick a spot on the wall in front of you. Try to keep the feet turned slightly outwards or straight ahead. Oh, and we're done. Oh, I almost fell on that one. My, my, my front toes, they cracked in a funny way. Last exercise, kneeling squat 
in three, two, and one. crushed it. That was a beautiful workout. <laughs> to the point, direct, got us going, heart rate up, moving in primal ways, and connecting back to ourselves. Now we're going to go through a quick cool down, and we will complete training day 10. We only have 15 more days left. I can't believe that. <laughs> All right. Our first stretch, we're gonna grab the blanket to protect the knees. Oops. And you're going to either keep one foot just like this, or you can bring it out in front of you. Whatever one helps you stay balanced better. And you're gonna grab that back knee, just like if we were standing and doing this. Flex the toes down, and you're gonna feel that in that front quad. If you wanna feel this a little bit deeper, begin to whoop, lean forward. You can have your hand rotated internally or externally, thumb down, thumb up. Whatever one feels better on you and your knee. Or maybe you want to even revolve it and twist it now. You can point the toes, relax the quad. Continue to keep a micro bend in the elbow. And we'll release that knee down. And we're going to come to a hurdling position. You can move that blanket up or completely out from underneath you. So the back knee will be kneeling outwards. We're just going to fall over the front leg. Inhale. If you're up here or if you're down here, both the same. Let's not forget. Being quote unquote bendy, that is not the end all be all. And it's actually an impairment in some cases. Because if you are so flexible that you do not have control over your joints, well, you're going to hyperextend. When you hyperextend, you're not relying on the muscle to do the work. You're relying on the joints. That's not good because then you're not gaining strength. And you're actually hurting those very fragile areas of the body. Over time, that cartilage, it can break down. Is not healthy. So if you can be flexible in a stable way, that I think is the strongest and most functional use of flexibility coming from a lifelong dancer and gymnast. <laughs> Very important to have control. I've hyperextended my lower back, both of my knees, my ankles, and it's because I would just be face on the ground and all poses. And I thought it was quote unquote cool to be bendy. And sure, have your fun with it, but know the consequences. I didn't know them. I didn't have anyone to tell me about them. So I suffered. <laughs> and once I was 21, I finally learned about yoga. And in a healthy way, in a stable way, in a functional way. Great, we're going to come up from that pose. And we're actually going to let that bent knee, that just bent knee, fall the other direction. Let the other knee bend just like the other one was. And just twist away from the legs. I like to have my hand on the outside knee. I straighten through my spine and I use my core to twist. And 
and then I exhale. And I'm just going to come over the front of my legs as far as my body will allow me. Like I just said with my TED Talk, we're going to be responsible when we stretch. Please flex the toes when you're in these positions. Inhale and come up. We're now going to go to the other side. I'll move my blanket just so you can see my legs. So I'm going to put my opposite foot, the one I just stretched out in front. I'm going to flex my toes, grab the ankle hinge, and pull my quad back, bend in the elbow, hips neutral. Once I spend enough time here, and then I can think about moving forward. But maybe you don't move forward. You stay where you are. The best part about stretching, you get to listen to your body. What you need. Ooh, am I tight here today? Ooh, am I open today? Ooh, am I really hurting? Ooh, can I hardly go down farther than my thighs when I'm reaching for my toes? Can I not feel like I am guilty or bad at this if my body is telling me a different story than the day before. And this is mindful movement, so that's the whole point. Now I'm going to revolve. You do not have to if you do not want to. Exhale and release. We're going to straighten out that forward leg. Let that back leg bend like a, what was it called, a herky? Something like that, a cheerleading move. And now I'm going to inhale, lengthen my spine, and exhale to forward fold over my front leg, wherever I'm at. I love doing opposite side stretches because you really get to see where your body is. You can flex your toes forward, straighten out front of the ankle. Inhale and come back up. We'll take the back leg, turn it over to the other side, remove this blanket, do the same bend with this leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale to twist. Use your core muscles. Continue to turn the neck if that's available for you. job. That last stretch will be coming forward over our legs. Where do you feel it on this side versus the other side? Thank you so much for joining me for day 10 of the Mindful Movement series. I will see you back here tomorrow, and I hope that you rest well. I hope that you give yourself a lot of congratulations for showing up, and give yourself a big ol' hug for completing 
day number 10.